Marhaba Hojan. Marhaba Arkadash. In this video lecture, we will discuss how to manipulate with matrix matrices in the Oct. As you know, if you if we want to manipulate with the matrices in the other languages like C++ or Java, we need too much hard work because we need to we need too many iterative structures like for loops, while loops. So it's very difficult. It's very complicated. But in Oct, it's very simple. Now, first we will discuss how to de define a matrix. It's very simple. Just give a matrix name and give its value, its parentheses, brackets, and define its values. This is a one first column, first identity, first row, first column identity. And this is give a space and give the, give the second row identity. And if you want to split with the columns, just give a semicolon and define second row row 3 cross and 4 and I will give 5 and 6 it's a just it's just a simple matrix definition I will run and you will show it will like return a matrix with 3 rows and 2 columns now there are too many matrix functions I will just I will show you like how to find the size of the mat given matrix how to find the uh, uh, only rows or only columns how to define a ones matrix identity matrix and matrix with only zeros these are the only shortcuts and find the functions predefined functions that we will that we can use like i want to find the size of this matrix i will just give size and a and name of the matrix and i will run it will give me it will return me the size of the matrix it's a three cross two matrix if i only want the number of rows i just will just give size name of the matrix and one it will give me only the rows of the matrix as you can see here it's only give me the only rows if you want to define a uh, identity matrix the command for the identity matrix is ei it's i and you need to give the number of rows or n number of columns because it will be a square matrix square matrix so we can only give one only row or a column one number so it's like a diagonal matrix and you want to we want to define a matrix with only ones so I will find a1 is equal to ones with the number of two rows and three columns and it will give me like a two cross three matrix with only ones Cross the matrix with ones. Now I want to define a zero matrix. So z is equal to it's a function of zeros. Give me again the number of rows and number of columns, and run it. It will give us uh, three cross two zero matrix. Now I want to concatenate two matrix. Right? I can concatenate A with C right so it will give me a, another matrix ac is equal to a and sorry a and c it will run and it will give me a matrix ac matrix you can this is a a matrix and this is c matrix so it will give me a concatenation of two matrices so there are too many functions for like these things now I will now I, I will come to the main operations of matrix like like transpose, determinant, inverse, weakened values, eigenvectors. vectors. First of all, I will calculate the transpose of the matrix. Let's suppose I want to calculate the transpose of the A matrix, so I will erase all of them. I want to calculate the transpose of this matrix. So transpose it uh, I will say that in C matrix c will equal to a this is a transpose notation for the for obtaining the transpose of the function sorry i need to mm -hmm. see, see. And, uh, so i will take the i will run it and this is a transpose of the of a function now if I will I want to calculate the inverse of the matrix so 
for inverse it it should be a square matrix so as you see that a is not a square matrix so i will first it make it a square matrix 7 and 8 now i want to calculate the inverse so c is equal to it's the inverse for taking inverse function inverse of a matrix just run it and you will can show oh, again sorry as you can see a is not a square matrix so it gives error so we need to make it like square matrix and we will here again two three okay and here is one so now we will calculate the inverse of this matrix so it's a inverse of the matrix first is it gives error because it was not a square matrix so now we it's a square matrix so it's give us the inverse of the matrix and it's stored in c so it's as you can see like just with the one command i i can get the inverse of a matrix if how much i uh, if it's a 3 cross 3 matrix 4 cross 4 matrix just with one command i can get the inverse of the matrix now if you want to take the determinant of a matrix to so show the command for determinant is equal to i will say in the d determinant and it will give us the a matrix so it's a, you can see it's a 3 cross 3 matrix and it's very difficult to find the it's complicated to find the determinant of this matrix so with just one command i find the determinant of the matrix now if we want to calculate the eigen values which is very important for the machine learning purposes and the other like in machine learning it's very common so the eigen values is first like v and d this is the eigen vector and this is the values eigen values so it will give me just give me the function e eigen and a it's a a matrix i want to calculate the eigen values and vectors of the a matrix so i will just like you know take them off and i will run it so you can see that oh it's very complicated so i need to clear the screen and i will run it again so this a matrix and this is eigen vectors and this is eigen sorry it's eigen values and it's eigen vector so it's very simple in the octave and very common and very easy to find the eigen vectors eigen values determinant and transpose now we we'll come to the simple matrix operations like addition multiplication and and division so i am just like reducing my matrix it's a just two cross two matrix right, i want to add c is equal to uh, first i will okay a plus 10 it's a simple addition if you want a multiplication give us multiplication sign so it's a it's it's a multiplication sign. so it's a, like division and similar like uh, subtraction so it's all for today's and in the next lecture i will discuss how to plot your data in 2d and 3d so stay tuned thank you goodbye